Hello Warriors, this is Conrad Braun here again and today I am going to give you access to uh, one of my powerful RSS feed creators, um, generators, uh, programs, softwares, whatever you want to call it. Something that I use almost on a daily basis to uh, help me get my backlinks indexed and, and to help me push uh, a lot of link juice towards my websites. So without any further ado, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to demonstrate um, everything from scratch, how I install it and uh, how I set up a campaign and how I promote it, everything. I'm not going to keep anything out of, here, out of your uh, eyes, I'm just going to show you everything from scratch. So to get started, I have logged into my cPanel. I currently host with HostGator, uh, this particular site anyways. Um, if you use FTP, it's the same concept, but I prefer logging into the cPanel and just managing things from there. We'll just open things up here. And um, just to show you here, there's a quick guide that comes with it. Uh, and let me see here. So as you can see, there's uh, detailed instructions on absolutely everything that you have to do. And there's even a link to this video. Um, in the guide, um, just showing you step by step. And if you have any issues, any questions whatsoever, you can always um, follow along in the video or uh, simply just follow the guide here. It really is straightforward and you really can't go wrong if you follow it to the T. Um, if you do have any issues though, if you would like us to install it for you, um, just contact us here, co uh, technical support, and this URL that is in the report here and uh, my programmer will install it for you for an extra five bucks. Um, he does it on his own time, so um, I don't pay him for it, so it's between you and him um, when he installs it. Uh, but again, it is really straightforward, very easy to install, so you can very likely um, do it yourself. Okay, and uh, you should have absolutely no issues installing it. So just to demonstrate how easy it is, I'm just gonna follow through with it right now here, okay? So let's go back to our cPanel and let's, okay, let's, okay, what, is, what does it say? Unzip the files and upload the RSS gen folder to your web server. Okay, so let's go back to in here and let's upload it. I saved it on my desktop. Okay, let's see, what is it called? Uh, the RSS generator. open it up right there and it is loading let's hit refresh here as you can see it is right here and it told us to unzip that we'll extract there we go it's extracted and I believe it created a folder right here with that so let's look at the guide again create a MySQL SQL database on your server and note down the database server name and address database name, database username, password. Okay, let's quickly do that. Let's go back to cPanel here. Let's, uh, okay, where is it again? And let's click on my SQL databases. And okay, what are we gonna call this? RSS gen, let's just call it that create the database there we go database has been created and this is the database name okay let's remember that one and let's go back here let's create a username let's call them the same way RSS gen it stands for RSS generator okay and password we'll think of something okay let's see here Okay, so it's RSS Gen 1, 2, 3, just for demonstration purposes. So as you can see right here. And let's go back. And the next thing on the list. Okay, assume you're. And I'm just noticing now it's not actually on the list, but what we need to do is add the user to the database. And I'm quickly going to show you how you can do that, okay? 
Okay, so let's go back up here. Uh, where is it? Add user to database. And our username here is the RSS generator. And the database is the RSS generator. And let's give them full privileges. There we go. That has been done. And now, let's go back to the installation guide here. Uh, now that you can visit installation URL, start the script installing. Installation. Okay, assume the RSS generator. Okay, so pretty much this extension right here. Let's try to copy that. And let's go back to our web server that we put this on. Put that in the bar there. Okay, let's think of some good admin. Let's just use admin here and then password. Confirm your admin password. Okay. And then for the local host here, this is something very important. Um, it tends to, especially with HostGator servers, it tends to put an extra space in front of local host. Um, if that happens to be your um, database name, just make sure that there is no space in there. So in this case, let's just delete that extra space in there. It automatically generates it. We can't figure out why it's doing it. Um, so just to give you a heads up, it will give you trouble if there is that space in there. So just get rid of it, okay? And now it's asking for the MySQL database. And what was it again? Let's just quickly grab that here. So as you can remember, it was this right here. And let's go back, let's paste that in there. And the username was the same. And then for the password, remember what that was? It was RSS Gen 123. Let's hope this works. Let's just click Submit. Uh, there we go, everything was successful. Uh, installation, blah, blah, blah. Please delete the install folder. Okay, let's go back in here. Let's open this up, the install folder. Let's just hit delete. And it's gone just like that. Okay. And now let's scroll down and see what the deal is here. So basically what it is telling us now, so wherever we install this on our domain name, uh, we should be able to just enter that behind the domain name. Um, and it should give us access to the script. So let's try that. Okay, let's just go in here. And let's just hit enter there. And there we are. It uh, gives us access to that. Now remember the uh, admin username and the password that you said earlier? Let's see if it works. And it works just like that. Very simple, very straightforward, very easily set up. Okay? If you have any issues along the way while setting this up, um, just refer back to the guide, look over it one more time. Um, if it still doesn't make sense or if things don't go right, uh, just do it all over from scratch. Start from scratch, follow the video to the T, follow the guide to the T, and uh, I guarantee you that it will work for you if your server is set up to handle this these kind of scripts. Um, again, it's just very simple PHP scripting as well as MySQL databases. Most servers have it. If your server doesn't have it, um, you might have might run into some issues there. So, um, but yeah, it really is that straightforward and you really can't go wrong in, in installing this yourself. But if you do have any issues, any problems, or if you'd like us to install it, um, you can always contact us through the information that we give you right here. And like I said earlier, my programmer would be more than happy to install it for you in his spare time. But again, the, all the detail, details are in the installation guide. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now, we're going to start uh, and create our first RSS feed. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do here, here's where you put in the title for uh, this particular feed that you're about to create. Um, generally, what I want to do here is focus on a keyword that I want to rank high for. So in my case, this example here, let's type in Kelowna SEO services. This is where I live. Um, 
and the channel link let's just have a link straight to my site uh, let's just pull it up here there we go this is my SEO site that's, we can close this page too here there we go let's paste the link in there in the channel description I'll just quickly fill something in and again you know add one and in, include my keyword the odd time um, in the description here as well but not too picky um, just be creative maximum 120 characters um, the descriptions are all there it gives you shows you all the limitations and stuff so um, what we want to do here now is um, enter our keywords okay so as you can see right here it's, it's one keyword per line uh, let's just quickly fill in some keywords um, random keywords that we want to rank for right now the maximum is 240 characters um, and it will randomly pick these keywords uh, to use later on um, in the future releases I'll probably increase this and probably put a no limit on there uh, but just for this version um, I'm just gonna be using just a few keywords to set up this campaign and, and uh, 240 characters should be more than enough for this particular campaign okay so let's I'll just quickly type out some okay so I just put some random keywords in there um, try to use my local um, city name in there as well behind uh, in front of the keyword um, yeah these are just the keywords that I'm trying to rank for for my site which I by the way rank pretty high for already so uh, maybe what I forgot to include was um, Kelowna SEO but again it's really up to you what you want to put in there um, just be creative you use your uh, use your keywords okay now here I'm gonna paste in my backlinks my URLs or my sites any URLs really that I want to um, put into the RSS feed so I could go crazy and put all of the uh, the links from my website in here or I could uh, just put all my backlinks in there I can really do anything I want but of course I want to make sure that it is uh, whatever I put in here is related to the keywords that I have up here just to uh, stay on topic right stay on target so um, let me just paste them in here these are my backlinks you can always expand this drag it out you know if you need more space to look at them but uh, these are quite a few backlinks that I put in here I think about 7300 or something like that um, let's just look down here how many sub level hub sub feeds do you want so basically means how many feeds within a feed um, do you want um, in this case let's say we just have one feed basically what it does it structures it almost like a pyramid um, so how many sub feeds do you want let's say let's say we want 10 and choose a category for this feed mm. Uh, what is this marketing do we have marketing anywhere no we have business and again you can uh, control this under settings here you can uh, add more categories and, and stuff so it really is up to you you can be as creative as you want with that as well okay and maybe just to uh, go back to what I was saying here earlier um, how many sub feeds do you want um, how many um, because the the first layer of uh, links that are going to be in your RSS feed are going to be feeds for that contain all of these other uh, links right here so in our case I like to stay under 25 but it, it really is up to you you can be as creative as you want in this case though let's just say let's just use 10 okay we have the business category max number of links in each feed let's leave that at 10 as well okay let's hit generate 